Alright guys, so last episode we got the Bronze Defender, and I said we still had one more thing to do as far as gaining tokens, but we're going to put all that off, because I still want to get the Iron Defender, and we're going to go back and do the last challenge in a little bit. So in order to get the next one, I think you have to actually show this to her, and then she will basically, you know, tell you, oh, you're next for the next one. So now we should be able to get the Iron Defender. I'm not sure if we have to actually wear it, but I'm, go I'm, not, I'm not going to because I highly doubt it is that important So to actually have it equipped, which I, I hope, I hope it's, it's not. Uh, so um, on your first entry, you can receive a Bronze Defender as a random drop from the Cyclops. Each time you pick up a new defender, make sure to leave and re-enter the room to able to acquire the next strongest defender. Cyclops in this room, drop up to the rune defenders, have a 1 in 50 chance to drop one. Players can only attack Cyclopses with melee and range. Did that say range? No. Okay, I was about to say. Can only um, attack them with melee and they're immune to range and magic. Salamanders will only work if the attack style is set to Scorch. That's interesting news. So we'll see how long it takes us to get the Iron Defender, and then maybe we'll move on to... Excuse me. So we there's there's bronze, iron, steel, black, uh, mithril, adamant, uh, rune, and then dragon. So in this episode, if we can do the last, we can get the last dragon. <clears throat> we can do the last challenge, and possibly get to black, maybe, and then you know mithril. Mithril and Adamant, maybe, and then Rune and Dragon, or we'll just we'll just try to see how it goes. I want to try to do 30 minute episodes, give or take, uh, anywhere from 25 to 45 minutes would be my would be my goal. Uh, so yeah, that would that would pretty much be my goal for the episodes, and then maybe three to four episodes. So the Dragon Defender. I think it's significantly harder to get, and I think the Cyclopses are significantly tougher. I'm not entirely sure. Let me see if I can find it in here. Yeah, they're level 106, and they're in the basement. So that's gonna be that's gonna be significantly harder. We can always pray and use um. Can always pray and use other methods. You jerk. Yeah, we can always pray and use, like, um... Prayer gear. And just pretty much rely on protect from melee when we get to the Dragon Defender. Which would be... Which would be quite alright. But we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Um, like I said, if we can get to the Black Defender at this point... For this iteration, I would be pretty happy, and there might be sections in which I cut out a bunch of stuff, because as much as I love trying to narrate and talk, uh, this is, it, it is, it, it can be, a, there's not a whole lot to really talk about, to be honest, um, I pretty much covered everything, uh, this is just a bit of content that I thought would be fun, um, I might do videos on all the bosses, I know I didn't do a video on Obor, and I wasn't going to do a video on Braafita, Braf, Braf but I had five, well I had four keys and I dropped a key, so I had five keys, and I was like, you know what, we might as well see how bad this really is, so let's do it. And, you know, it just, uh, it just kind of seemed like a good episode. I, I was kind of happy with the, with the outcome. Um, I didn't talk during it, because like I said, I don't really have a ton of things to say all the time. And that was kind of just like a, a, a weird one-off episode. I did it really early in the morning. 
because I couldn't sleep, so I wasn't really in a talkative mood. Um, but I want to do, like, uh, I think Scorpio, the, um, the spider, maybe the crazy archaeologist, and the, the crazy, uh, the, the, all the different chaos fanatics and stuff. <laughs> I want to start looking into them. Like, I was thinking about trying, I was thinking Dagonoth Kings would have been an option, but then when I actually looked more into it, I think, uh, KBD would probably be, probably be better. The problem is, a lot of the bosses are in the wilderness, and that's just like, with my computer setup, and my knowledge of the game, and the way other people are, I don't have much of a chance when it comes to PKers. Like, when I was out, and usually when I do the burrows, I keep the mind runes and chaos runes to go kill lava dragons, just because. Uh, pretty good drop table. Uh, the only downside is the fact that they're in the wilderness, but, I mean, I'll take 12, or, uh, 800 mind runes and six, 1,600, uh, air runes with a lava battle staff, and I'll just go out there and, you know, blast them until somebody kills me or I run out of runes, just for magic experience and a little bit of, a a little bit of a money, a money boost. But, it's usually not all that, um, it's not all that bad all the time. But it seems like, it's almost like they know I'm there, like, a lot of times. Because, like, I was, <laughs> I used three different locations up there, and I always wear weird clothes. So, I don't know if somebody sees me, you know, rocking the, uh, rocking a lava battle staff with a dragon fire shield. And teleporting out with funky clothes on and automatically he's like, oh, that guy's going to the Lava Dragons. Because, uh, to be completely honest, with a setup like that, I could see somebody predicting that. But at the same time, I just don't understand why they PK me other than to be jerks. Because the maximum they're going to get is like 7 or 8k uh, plus whatever dragon drops I actually got. So, I mean... It's not, I guess it really wouldn't be a complete waste for them, but I mean, they're really not going to get a whole ton. Uh, I think two people got one Onyx Bolt Tip drops from me, which is 102k, give or take. And that was a little bit sad, but, you know, that, that's the name of the game if you're going to fight in the wilderness. But it just it's just upsetting because... You know, why not go to the Revenants? Why not PK at the Revenants? Why not PK at the... Why not kill the bots at the Green Dragons? You know, why kill the guy just training? And, you know, if you if you get me early, you'll be lucky to get 6 or 7k. If you get me on the way out, you know, unless I got a good drop, I mean, you're looking at maybe, maybe 40k. So, I mean, it's, it's not like... It, it's more of an inconvenience and an annoyance than a real profit. So maybe that's why they do it, because it's an inconvenience and an annoyance. <coughs> Man, excuse me. All right. Well, I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna cut out the rest of this. This is taking a while, so I think I'm gonna cut out a little piece of this, and I'm just gonna kill. Until I get the drop now. Alright, so we had a little bit of a... Cut out a little bit of there. Um, so, we're down to about 19 minutes left in this room. And I got one monkfish left. So I'm thinking three or four more kills. And I'm going to go restock. And maybe go do the last... Um, the last... Thing to get tokens. Uh, I did not... I don't. I don't think I did anything wrong. So I don't know what's taking so long, but I mean, I don't know how many tokens I had. It's got, it had to have been at least 15 minutes. Like, uh, it had to be a 15 minute gap from last episode to this episode or that last cut to this cut. So 
I mean, I've probably been here for about a half an hour trying to get a 1 in 50 drop, and I think I had to have decimated the Cyclops population by now. So, I don't, I don't really know. We're going to give it, like, I don't know, three more, and then I think I'm... I'm going to call it quits for a little bit. Like, I don't think I did anything wrong. Like, you're supposed to exit. I think you talk to her, and then you come back in. And then it should set it to drop the iron one. But I'm starting to actually get kind of worried. Um, I am collecting some of the drops. So if I get anything that's adamant, or um, adamantite, or rainar weeds... I'm kind of kind of grabbing them up, but um, for the most part, I've been kind of uh, kind of just leaving everything lay, checking the piles, hoping that one of them drops the iron defender. Um, I just kind of did this little offcut to kind of show you guys like how far in I've gotten without getting anything. I'm kind of like a little bit. This is a little bit discouraging. Not gonna lie. That's actually my second defense level since I've been here. Uh, so, I mean, I guess I could stay and throw on my Protect from Melee Prayer until it runs out. There's a there's an altar in the basement, I think. But I don't... I don't know. we got 16 minutes worth of tokens left. I was hoping to just... If I started the camera, I was hoping that I'd get lucky. And it would... It would fall onto the ground. Um, I can't log out, or else it'll just kick me out of the room. So, I kind of have to stick with this until I either get the Iron Defender or run out of tokens, or run out of resources to heal myself with. I thought for sure, like, if I started the camera within, like, five or six kills, I'd finally get it. I I've had to have killed at least 50 at this point. At least. Like, I would say probably 65 or 70 right now but it's supposed to be a 1 in 50 chance that's why I've been a little concerned that I've done something incorrectly and I check all the piles more than once while I'm killing them so like I, I don't really I don't know it's probably you guys fault it's what I'm going with uh, but this is the last one uh, whatever happens happens because I'm out of food, and I don't really want to use prayer. It's not worth it. <laughs> I realize it's pretty much free, but I just... I've been on this for about a half an hour. Um, I'll go find other ways of getting uh, tokens for a while. Uh, one more. One more. That's it. One more, that's it. And I'll probably kill maybe 50 suits of armor... I might do the little stabby slashy dummy one too. Maybe I'll do a little bit of the 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 shot putting as well. I'm not sure about this last method. I'm not sure what it's like. Never done it. At least not since my old account. Um, so I don't really, and I might not even have done it then. I don't really know. All right, we'll 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 see. I mean, my combat potion's gone, my monkfish are gone, and it's time to restock, and maybe you'll have better luck next time. So we are back. I just spent another 30 minutes trying to get the Iron Defender. I went and got uh, more of the uh, token-y things from killing the armor sets, and... I just figured I'd hop on, do a little like, hey, I'm still here, still doing this thing, you know, until until I get it, or maybe if I get 99 defense first or something, I, I don't know, but um, it seems like this is taking a lot longer than I previously anticipated, but I'm hoping before my tokens run out, I can get it on this little excerpt of video clippage, but we'll, we'll kind of see, I mean... I got a curved bone, which is the rarer of the two bones. Do I get to finish this fight? Uh, the, the, when I came in, the dialogue was different. So I thought I'd have better luck this time, but I guess, uh, I guess not.
My god. Finally did it. I got another 1,500 or so of those uh, tokens, and we finally got it. Alright, so it's been... I'd say that one took like two hours. No joke. I decided that throughout this, from here on out, I'm going to pick up all the black knives, and I'm going to give them to a non-member player, because they drop them a lot, and I just want to kind of see how many I can get. It's not going to be an exact number, because I left a bunch behind, but I figured it'd be something nice to do. I'm going to gather up as many of these as I can, and then I'm just going to give them to the first newbie player that I see that is trying to train range on, like, goblins or something. But alright guys, off to the steel one. Alright, so we're back to the grind. I'm going to use up the rest of my tokens trying to get the steel one. I'm going to shoot a little bit of this, of me actually killing them to see if I can get it on camera. Uh, but not very long, maybe two or three minutes. And then maybe like, after I use 500 of the tokens up, maybe I'll shoot another two or three minutes to see if maybe I can get lucky. Um, it's really... It, it's really, um... They're really rarer than they say they are, because the first, the bronze one was probably about 40 or 50 kills, but the iron one was easily 200. So, uh, they're, they're, it's, a uh, it could just be like I have really bad RNG again. That's very, very possible. Um, seems like a pretty common thing for me. Like, um, no joke, like... My RNG could be really bad a lot. Uh, for example, I was at Burroughs a while back, and I got it to 88% pretty much perfectly. And I went and did the, uh, I went and got the chest. It gave me like 2,200 gold coins. Nothing else. No runes, no, no armor piece, absolutely nothing. I was, uh, I was pretty, I was pretty devastated because, like, I, when I, mean, I do burrows, I do it super cheap, like, my burrows run probably costs, eh, maybe 10k, and that's because I take one prayer potion, just in case if I have, uh, Doric or, um, Corel in the, uh, in the actual catacombs, so, I mean, I really don't spend a whole lot per each, uh, per each run, but at the same time, like, to get two, like, 2.5k back is just like an insult. Um, they are probably the easiest boss at, for pretty much the entire RuneScape, but you know, it's still like it should be like a 10k minimum. Like, if you get it above 80%, it should be like you get 10k, period. And then, you know, anything above that is just gravy, you know? But I don't make the rules. You know, I said the same thing about a lot of stuff. Um, like, I think um, a free-to-play bond should be 4 million. 4 million gold coins flat. Like, if that, that that's that's how much they go for, like, on the grand exchange, through private trades. If somebody's dumb enough to spend more on one, you know, that's on them. But the, the price of the bond shouldn't be inflated so much. Like, uh, I bought two of them already for this account. Uh, well, I bought my first one for about, like, 4.8 mil for the Recipe for Disaster Endeavor. Then, this is actually, I'm still on the month that I bought uh, for, I think it's like $11 to get a month. And I already made enough to get two bonds that I paid 5 mil each for. Um, right now, a bond, oh wait, we got it, we got it, alright, cool. But uh, a bond cost, um, let's, let's grab that up. No, not the bones, what do I want the bones for? We'll finish off this kill and get out of here. But, uh, that was really quick. Maybe it's payback for the... For the, the iron one that took forever. But I don't I don't think a bond should be more than, um... A thousand, or... Four, four mil. Like, four mil is more than... More than fair for two weeks of membership. But, I don't make the rules. Anyways, that was a fun four minutes. Um, catch you guys for the next one. Alright guys, so we're gonna hop back in here and see if we can get the black defender. Uh, that's the, uh, whenever you go to open the door, you want to see this pop up. Um, I actually go in and out until she says it, because I want to make sure I'm actually doing it right. Because that would be a giant, it'd be a giant pain to kill these guys for an hour without a chance of getting a, uh, getting the defender. So, I, I do, uh, 
I, I risk uh, 10, 10 or 20 coins every, 20 or 10 or 20 extra tokens every time, just to assure that it, it did reset. Uh, I put the other ones in the bank and restocked on a little bit of food, but I think, um, I think we're pretty set. Like, I'm pretty happy with how the last one went. If we can get the, uh, the next one, that'd be fantastic. This guy talking to me. Level 83. It's about my level. Mame Gidolia. I don't know what that's... Mami Gidola. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. Uh, what the, I thought he meant like what my defense level at first, but now he, he meant defender. I don't usually chat with too many people. I mean, I just... Well, not a lot of people talk to me. But you know, if somebody does talk to me, I, I I don't I don't snub them like like other people, you know. Not all the time, unless I'm, if I'm in like a really bad mood or it's really early in the morning, I, I'll just pretend to be like a bot or something, and just not talk. But all right, if we're gonna be, I'm gonna be chit chatting with this dude for a while. I think I'm gonna go ahead and hop off here. Uh, maybe one more kill after this one, then we'll, I'll end off this video clip, and then I'll kill him for a little while and see if it pops up. Yeah, um, I don't know if I mentioned it or not, but once you get the rune, um, defender, you have to go to the basement Cyclopses, and they're like level 107, which is significantly worse, but between prayer and, um, food, it should be alright. But all right, I'm going to let you guys go, and I um, guess I'll chit-chat with this individual for a bit. And if uh, the next one pops up, I'll, I'll, you know, hop in and let you guys know. All right, guys, we're back. It's probably about five minutes later, and we got the Black Defender. So that is fantastic. I'm going to let our bro beans here know we got it. And, uh, we'll catch you guys in the next one. Alright, so we are here working towards the Mithril Defender. Um, like I said, I'll probably only keep this going for about two or three minutes, then I'll hop off and kill him off camera until it pops up. Uh, I don't know why I'm doing it this way. I guess it's just kind of, like, hoping that I catch it on camera, because it's so much more, like, I don't know, just better, better that, better that way, I guess. For, you know, I mean, you can't really cheat this, but it just makes me feel better actually seeing the drop on camera. I mean, unfortunately, you're not going to get a crazy reaction out of me where I start screaming and throw the computer because I got the defender I'm looking for. 
but that, that's pretty much it. I, I don't I don't get that excited over over much of anything, but <laughs> you know, I know some people get like super ridiculously loud. Like, you know, I mean, like, if I got a Draconic Visage, I'd probably be pretty excited, but I don't, I still don't think I'd freak out. Like, I think I'd just be like, you know, this, or like, if I got the crossbow or something, but I, I wouldn't, I don't think I'd be, like, too over, um, zealous? Is that the word I'm looking for? Flamboyant? Excited? Excited's a good, good word to use, because I actually know the meaning of it. Uh, yeah, I, I, but who knows? I mean, if we ever play a game where I, where it affects my real life, where, like, I win, like, I win, like, a cabin by a lake and a, and a bass boat, then, then maybe I'll actually get super excited. But, uh, pixelated ones and zeros, it does, it, it, that doesn't really do it for me. It's not my, it, it doesn't tickle my fancy. But all right, guys. Uh, I'm gonna cut this clip here uh, after the after this kill, and then I'll cut this clip, and then we're going to be back when I actually get uh, the uh, Mithril Defender. Uh, I just got mine and, and uh, ran to the bank to make sure I was stocked up on food and combat potions, and dude already left, so I don't know what happened. I think that, that might have been a girl. Or at least it was using a female avatar. Uh, like I said, it doesn't really matter. Ones and zeros don't really do it for me. <laughs> Alright, later on, guys. Right, so we're still on the Mithril uh, Defender. I just thought we'd kind of like check in. Um, I'm down to 195 uh, tokens out of like a thousand. So I've been here for, for quite a while. Actually, we've been here so long that the dude that was over here got his rune defender and then went and got his dragon defender and we still haven't got the mithril one so yeah that's a little that's a little bit upsetting but you know happy for him sad for us you know typical typical life kind of stuff i suppose but i figured i'd check in for a little while and uh maybe if i killed a couple on camera we'd get lucky but i don't see that being a thing uh once i hit once I get hit for a good amount of HP again, I think I'm going to dip out and then go farm more of these tokens. Or uh, maybe I'll go and uh, get ready to uh, clean up another section of the kitchen and uh, AFK fish swordfish for a little while. Take a little break from this. Uh, <clears throat> that's, what I did. that's what I did last night. I was AFK farming and fishing while I, uh, while I was organizing... A, a section of the kitchen because it was a it is a giant disgusting mess and you know I'm a dude and all and I don't and, you know I'm, I, I shouldn't care about that kind of stuff as much but you know there, there's a limit to when it gets from like it goes from like you know a little bit of man mess or or you know a little bit a little bit uh, of clutter to downright disgusting pack rat kind of kind of mentality um none of it's mine to not not really mine anyway uh it's just food acquired over years and years and years uh for for instance i found a jar of peanut butter all the way on the back shelf three three shelves up on the cabinet Oh, we got it. We got it, guys. Okay, cool. But, uh, let me finish my story. <laughs> I got a little excited. But, uh, I cleaned out the... It was the third cupboard up. And I reached all the way in the back. There was a jar of peanut butter from 2012. That was open. Now, it didn't have any mold or anything. And it was good chunky peanut butter. So, I was thinking about eating it. But then I was like, you know what? That's It's been open to the back of the cupboard for, for eight years. I'm like, maybe that's not a good idea. So, I ended up tossing it, but that, that's just like, that's kind of like part of what I'm dealing with. That's part of my problem, you know? Oh, I should pick that up, huh? And, uh, that, that, is, that is part of my problem. I was like, eight-year-old peanut butter. Well, I guess I was almost nine years old. But, you know. Um, thanks for watching, guys. I will catch you for the next one.